Hi, I'm Chad Wilson, Superintendent of Apache Junction Unified School District. About a week and a half ago, I did a video and, and thanked all of you who worked so hard to help communicate to our constituents the value of our organization as it relates to override. I also touched briefly on, on some of the opportunities we have and some of the financial issues that we're facing and, and talked about how over the next uh, months we'll be working to solve those issues in ways that point us in the direction that we expect for our organization. Yesterday I met with the governing board in a day meeting uh, to begin talking about the financial realities that we're facing. And one of the things I think is important, and I explained it to the governing board and I'd like to reiterate it again today, is that whatever decisions we make financially always have to be couched in, in how can we best provide our kids the educational opportunity that they deserve. Uh, finances are, are sometimes difficult, but really they're easy in terms of just mathematical equations. Where they become difficult is we understand that we're talking about people's lives and we're talking about organizations and we're talking about programs. And so we can't take the decisions that we have to make lightly, but we also have to realize that they must point us in a direction that we believe uh, is important uh, for our children. And that's preparing all kids to pursue post-secondary learning opportunities. One of the things I think is important, though, is that we begin uh, talking about the, the amount of deficit or the magnitude of budget reduction that we have to make going into 2011-2012 to school year. As I said our, uh, in our last video, um, decline in student enrollment, the phase out of Combs uh, students on our high school campus because Combs built their uh, high school, the increase in retirement uh, that's required by the district to pay, as well as the, uh, the financial issues that the state is facing will all contribute to a deficit that we must overcome. The initial amounts that we believe we would have to solve financially for next year uh, are in the neighborhood of $3 million. Certainly that number may go larger depending upon uh, the state cuts and it may be less depending upon the state cuts or larger depending upon our final enrollment or, or less depending upon our final enrollment. But as we begin looking at the, the opportunities and the, the choices that we have to make, I do want to start uh, encouraging people to think about solutions to the issues. Um, you know, through our collective process, through care and uh, act and talk, through our governing board, uh, we will come up with solutions that are in the best interest of our students. But there may be ideas or suggestions that you have that you believe uh, would be beneficial. And if that's the case, please don't hesitate to contact me uh, and share with me your thoughts. I also want to once again thank all of you for, for doing as much as you have done and continue to do for our kids. And if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to, to come on by or give me an email. Thanks.